Hi and welcome back to DevExplaining channel. Today's topic is Java 21 string templates and I will try to give you a compact explanation of the feature. Let's get started. This is obviously a Java 21 feature, so to be able to do any of what I'm going to show, uh, you have to have Java 21. It can be early access, can be the full one uh, release version, but at the very least you have to have Java 21. Another thing, even with Java 21, the feature that I'm explaining today is not out of uh, preview yet. So it's a preview feature. You have to specifically enable it with an extra flag. Probably it will be released in some upcoming Java fully. So then you don't need the flag anymore. Then uh, you don't get some warnings that you will see. And then uh, you have to be a bit careful because there might be some changes still before the full release. So those would be my warnings on this feature, but I think it's a fun feature, so I will cover it even though it's a preview feature. Okay, so before we go into the uh, new feature, I have some basic old features on how to do string concatenation. You can take some bits and pieces, use a plus operator, you could use message format, you can use string format, you have a few old ways on how to inject things in your strings, okay? Uh, why that is interesting? Well, uh, surprisingly, that's still very often part of what we need to solve when creating software. So still with Java, very often there comes a time when you have to kind of compose a string of bits and pieces and parts, and then you start to be interested in how you can do it uh, nicely. Okay. So uh, that was the old world. What's the new world? Well, I'm glad you asked. The new world is called JEP 430 string templates, a preview feature. And uh, there, the motivation is coming from how other languages are doing it. So I've been uh, dealing with a lot of Python recently, and therefore my uh, kind of built in feature for this would look like something like this. Okay. With Java, you haven't had anything similar to this one. So with Java, you have been kind of limited to using whatever classes and APIs you have, and they are sometimes a little bit clunky and definitely uh, not easily available. Okay. On the other hand, you have heavyweight template engines that allow you to do crazy things like you can do looping and uh, condition statements, but then you need to pull third party dependencies and they might be large as well. Uh, and then you have to make sure they are maintained and, and you are able to run them. Okay. So that's uh, our basis, how to solve this problem. And uh, this uh, long uh, JEP here is kind of covering a lot of this already. But let's, uh, let's show you some code examples first. And if you're curious, I'll drop the link to this explanation in my video description section. So you can pick it there and uh, spend a little bit of quality time and read it if this is interesting for you. But I wanted to show you some code, so here we go. The basic use of uh, the new string template uh, preview feature, once you have enabled previews, is uh, something like this. So we have an str, and then for my little multiline template, by the way, multiline is not a new thing. This has been around in Java 15. So unless you are running 8 or 11, you already have this available. But you can definitely combine that with our string uh, template model from Java 21. So I'm, I'm saying string and here is a multi-line string template. And in my string template, obviously, I'm able to define a specific kind of slots for values and variables. And by the way, um, it can be nested and you can call functions here. So anything goes. But I can point to variables uh, and, and values that are in scope for me, even functions that return some values. Now, uh, this template processor is your default one. So that's what you get in Java 21. And uh, the interesting thing is that you don't need to import or enable anything. This is something that's, uh, if, if you have this, it's fully unlocked for any Java code. So you can just start uh, kind of referring to it and calling uh, the static little template processor part. And then you can pass in, like so, a multi-line template. You can definitely load this one from a file instead, if you like that. And uh, any values that you have here will be kind of resolved as part of this template processing that happens immediately. And then you get out another string value. So string goes in, string comes out. And let's run this one so you can see what I'm doing here. And uh, it was this line here. 
so I got end result that was combination of my basic text in the template and then the variable that I had here. So uh, how about JSON templates? Well, you can definitely use this one uh, for structured content as well. So you can define a multi-line template that happens to be JSON and you can put your values in there. So I actually, when I ran this, you already saw a spoiler. This is how it looks like. Now I'm deliberately doing a little nasty injection trick here. So just wanted to point out that if you are uh, putting something that would be kind of evaluated or processed, uh, you will get that as part of the end result. So if my name happens to have some specific kind of control characters, they will be resolved and then you end up having a quotation mark here. So I'm pointing out that while this is JSON, this is easy way to generate JSON content. Uh, it's not necessarily valid JSON, so it's not aware of JSON. And uh, there is no validation or checking if it's kind of okay for JSON. So if you want some specific, uh, more specific than just a string output, uh, then you need more processors. And I would expect we see uh, some ready-made processors, but with Java 21, this is what you get. You get pretty basic stuff. Now, the full kind of explanation of the JEP has some in-depth information on your own processor, how you could take this a little bit uh, further. However, today I'm not deep diving there. I I'm kind of thinking that I might do a deep dive once this gets out of preview, or if you are extremely curious and interested about this one, uh, you can request and I will do a deep dive even with preview. Just write it in the comment section. And if I get a little bit of buzz for this, then it's definitely worth uh, creating an explanation. But I think it's summary time for the new feature. So uh, new feature for templating. We have a few ways already. I think I can count five different ways for string templating. Uh, but uh, the earlier ones were sucking and they might have been not very ex extensible. So the new one is, so this one is kind of more intuitive, a little bit less boilerplate to use it. And it's a structure and framework for implementing more. So it gives awesome opportunity to expand and build on this one. So that's the area where I'm starting to wait to see something. And by the way, the description of the JEP is giving you some ideas on how you could sit down, spend an hour and do, do a custom template engine. Let's say one that gets a template and uh, put some values in there and converts it to JSON object and validates it, for example. That might be a useful case for this one. Or SQL, you could have some sanity checking to avoid SQL injections or XML, whatever you like. So there is much more than you can do than what I just showed you. Um, it's still in preview. That's why it's not getting more attention, but it's fun and exciting. And that's why I made a video on this one. Uh, you could definitely enable the flag in production and run this on production already, but I already gave you the warnings. Um, there is no guarantee that it wouldn't change in the upcoming release. Uh, no guarantee that it would change either, but you know the drill. have to be a bit cautious with the preview feature. So keep an eye on this one and have fun with it. Play with it already right now, but perhaps it's a little bit more for the future references. I think this was nicely separate from all the other new features, so it made sense to do a separate video on this one. If you like the content here, drop me some likes, drop me some text in my comment section, and do subscribe for my channel if you like to see more of this stuff. Uh, there is more Java 21 stuff coming up, uh, more features that are not review features coming up, up next, so something you can actually use straight away. I hope you enjoyed this one. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.